So here we are uh, at the, the gazebo at St. Clair and uh, really, really fun session this morning at the Psychiatric Grand Rounds with Janelle Burdell and her Udu drums. <laughs> so first off, we'll talk about who you are, but just give us your uh, impressions of this place and the staff and uh, the event that uh, is now on video and everybody can watch. Oh, how cool. <laughs> Thanks, Fen. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks and for coming out. Dr. Chadre, and what a wonderful place St. Clair is. I mean, just beautiful land all around us, and uh, the vibe is right, as yeah. we say. The vibe is good uh, for healing, that's for sure. Yeah. For joy. And you gave everybody uh, a little demonstration of your Udu drum. I did. And you have one with us. I do. You gotta hold that up for the camera a little bit, I think so. Yeah, it's actually a clay pot, which is really interesting. And you, it almost like you pull the sound out of it. Right, right. And then it draws you, we talked about that in the, in, you talked about that in the presentation, where it actually draws you towards it. Yeah, it's very, unlike any other drum, which is a membranophone, which the sound definitely comes at you. So it pushes at you. This sound brings you to it. So soft spoken. I loved how you talked about being able to silence a big noisy bar just with this sound. It's true. I posted the other day uh, an Udu at the end of one of my uh, youth sessions that I've been doing at the homeless children's with the Homeless Children's Fund. And at the very last session, I pulled out an Udu to show them something very special. And hard to stop a room full of screaming kids, even with drums, it was always a challenge. Hmm. But the Udu worked its magic, the Udu voodoo, as I like <laughs> to say. Boom, a stream, screaming room full of children. <laughs> Silence. I mean, not even the normal rustling that you get yeah, from kids. Yeah. Dead silence. And I've had it happen in bars, at open mics, right. club cafe. Now, the other thing I really love that you talked about is that this is a wonderful tool for autistic children because mm. it's not very loud. And yes. it's still something they can be very expressive with. Very expressive. And it still creates that groove and that sound. And if the right player, which is what I was trying to say about collaborating with therapists because the trap in music therapy is that everybody that trained therapist can't possibly induce trance as quick as I can after 30 years of study and practice so I think we fall short in music therapy by putting something fairly new a new tool into someone's hand which it will still work don't get me wrong but the depth of the healing, the quickness of the healing, I think can be compounded faster by a collaborative effort, which I'm mm -hmm. hoping to yeah. get into here. But you do you such know? amazing work uh, just right now. I mean, let's run it down. You ran a rock and roll camp, or you were you were part of a rock and roll yes. camp for girls this summer. Yeah, teen rock and roll teen rock camp and roll girls. at the Institute for the Musical Arts. Very cool. And I love what you said about girls are not taught to be drummers, but then when they get on the kit, and they can learn to express, their whole personality can change. Changes. Yeah. I've had women come up to me, for, I've been a professional for over 30 years, and uh, since I was a kid, and almost every gig I've had a woman, whether they were dripping with diamonds or from the kitchen, come out and say, you know, I always wanted to play the drums. And I'd say, well, what stopped you? And it would be, oh, my dad or my mother or my boyfriend or my, somebody stopped them. But at the same time, I've started to drum with them, or they've drummed, or I just share with them, and they literally can feel that had I drummed as a kid, I'd be a different woman today. Isn't that something? Yeah. Amazing. So, the, you're, so you're helping facilitate that with this rock and roll camp for girls? Absolutely. We're empowering young women for the past 10 years. It's amazing. And then you're going into some of the homeless shelters. I am. I'm working with the uh, at the women's shelters and homeless shelters with moms and kids, which is like I said in there, they yeah. do, they're used to just having programs for either or. And I'm the first to come in and say, oh no, I want both. Because I really believe that change is going to happen in our youth, 
and through facilitating the moms and women who are raising our youth, that's where the seeds have to be planted. And that the drumming allows for there to be communication in a way that wasn't there, that's where right. there was just verbal abuse. Exactly. And now there's a whole nother way, a third way, let's say, or a, a, an alternative way. Exactly. That's what the authorities have been saying there so graciously that they're seeing instantly not only are the behavioral problems gone with all the children instantly, but then with, they're starting to see new relationship and communication formed between the mothers and the children where there had only been abuse prior. Of course, I didn't know that. Yeah. When I was in my session, I knew none of that. I was just doing what I do and, and offering what I offer. Like I said in there, the bonus of drumming is you get to offer this great gift and tool for change and not dictate how the change or what the change should look like. Because mm -hmm. I trust that what's going to come through you, you will be able to discern what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great in it's a day wonderful. and age yeah. where we're being told to do what to do and what not to do all the time? And what we what we value as a species is is authenticity and originalness and uniqueness. Right. You know, and that's what you know. We kind of have this culture of oh, I want to be unique just like everyone else. You know, but they want to look like everyone else and wear the same fashion and like the same things. And exactly. We, and yet our deepest yearning is, I want to be original. I want to do something different that nobody else has done. Yes. And that expression through drumming allows that space yes. for people to practice that, of doing something that's never been done, and I'm creating it. Absolutely. I'm a perfect example of it. Tr mm -hmm. Drumming is trans really, because I was that kid who also wanted those tennis shoes and to be the same and to be liked, really, ultimately, we're just well, wanting aren't all, to be liked. I mean, all rock and rollers just go into it just <laughs> to meet girls, but right, you are already chicks, a girl, right. so what, yeah, what do you do? To meet, not still meeting meet girls, right? No, 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 I'm, you know, I'm open-minded. Uh, it's a new age, man, we're in a new age, age here, so, um, you know, but the, the main thing is, it is a wonderful way, music, and I tell the kids who are doing drum circles, even from the homeless children's fund, who move around a lot, mm. And like I had one young man going to be moving to Atlanta in a week or so, and he was nervous about it. And I said, hey, you're on it. You know this, this, and this. You can drum. This is going to make you cool. Oh, yeah. It you makes know? your friends fast. If you makes your friends yeah. fast. Music or what a great thing, you know, and sure. a great, a positive thing to do with your friends. The other, the other skill, I think, with, with drumming and drum circles, and you talked about it in, in your talk, uh, that's not well understood by people that don't drum is that it, drumming in a group requires more listening than the actual performance. People get all caught up, well I can't perform, I, I, I don't know how to do it, I don't know what to do. And once you get into it and all you have to do is listen, and you do more listening than actually sending out. Yeah, I tried uh, to talk about that a little bit today. Yeah, and I think that's such a, one of the most powerful things about drumming as a transformational tool is because we don't we don't have a culture that values listening too much. Everyone's screaming at each other, trying to get everyone's attention, where you can actually get more attention by being silent and allowing people to just express and be who they are. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's funny that you said that, we're getting more attention. I thought of our, our new friend Facebook, you know, which oh, yeah. everyone just spews and then just walks away. I thought, right. wow, well, they don't even wait for the reaction hit from run. the person, yeah, you hit know? And run, hit and run. How odd. But, um, and, and that's part of why I committed to Rhythm Games in 14 years ago, was knowing, seeing the change with the technology, knowing that the uh, technology was here to stay, the music industry was going to change, we were all going to be able to do everything from our living room, we would never have to come out of our house again. Yeah, so talk about that. And what, really, what, drumming yeah. is an amazing tool, not only because, like I said, it covers it all. It's good for you, it's fun, it supplies the uh, social right. ground. Lowers the cortisol levels, increases the, the anti-cancer cells, the Exactly, immune the immune fighting cells, the cancer fighting drumming. cells. Yeah. Your body has cells that is, are seeking out cancer cells in your body. They will increase in activity by one single session. Isn't that amazing? One. So a lot of my, my ammo is I can show you the first time that it works. Mm -hmm. Give me your 10 worst kids, I'll tell someone. I'll show you the first time. 
<laughs> and really, so what doctor can say that? That yeah. it will work the, after the first time? Uh, yeah, with you everyone, will feel the first better time. Right. and you will get the result and it will work for everyone. And I think there's also that, like overcoming that social anxiety of performance in a group setting is, is a big step for a lot of people. Absolutely. I think that's the facilitator's charm mm -hmm. or not um, part of my... Uh, forte is that I'm able to get people included really quickly and uh, relieve that to present drumming in a way that is non-threatening and that quite frankly that they can do it right away so they get the result they want right away yeah the, you know, the, I'm not setting them up to fail it, I'm setting them up to win exactly but the, the, you're not setting them up to, to saying okay this has to be a perfect performance yes. it is nothing about the no. performance it's about the experience and how you feel inside. Of jumping in yeah. and connecting with this pulse that has started. And then being a part of something that's bigger than bigger yourself. Bigger than you. And yet you add to it and make it something even more. More magnificent than you can even dream of. You know, that's what I said was trying to share in the first beginning mm -hmm. was sharing my first experience of being a part of a real drum circle where I really got that it wasn't about being perfect, it wasn't about the chaos. In fact, all of it happened, all of it was good, and what ensued after that was a, a combustion of joy mm -hmm. and, and good cheer and good feeling that I could have never predicted. Yeah. So that's yeah, so great. That's really cool. It's neat to be able to share this simple gift that I have to offer to so many people now at a time when it's so needed. Well, you, you're one of the rare people who uh, uh, is so passionate about your work, that your work brings so much joy to so many people, and so much healing to so many people, and especially, as you said, you know, we're, we're in crisis. There's yeah. people on the ground that yeah. need help, you know, and uh, yeah. so I, I'm really uh, so grateful for you coming out. Oh, it's, it's been, thrilling, it's so thrilling. Wonderful. The gift yeah. to work with professionals who also see that, who don't want to be... Uh, it was so nice to hear the doctor like give me permission to just drop the research ideas and playing with the field that really doesn't want to hear what we have to say. They're not in a listening mode, well, like listening he said. Mode. They're not yeah. in a listening That's mode. A, the listening mode. And the is listening so is important. the key. Yeah. I mean, it's the key to music and to life. So it was so nice to to hear that from him, and I thought, wow, that's why they're able to get such great results up here. Yeah, no the, doubt. The, yeah. Absolutely. Amazing. Well said. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks for bringing Thank you. me up Thank here, Sven. Thank you for Sven. being up here. Yeah, thanks for and coming. And you know, including me, and yeah. hopefully, you know, being a part of what, what all the magic of Seclara. Well, and we is, should say right? that if uh, anybody wants to come out, it's open to the public on the 19th of September. It's a uh, celebration of success, a little social gathering we do here at Seclara every year. And uh, we'll have a bonfire if the weather permits, and we'll have Janelle here, and she will be leading us in some fabulous rhythm games. And Lots of drumming. drums and, and fun, and come check out a different way of being and taking care of yourself and your family. This space is really special, and these doctors and professionals are very extraordinary people. You know, come check it out. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thank you, dear. Thank you.